Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome to something a little bit different, or at least something the first time we're trying something. Uh, usually I'm a shiny hunter on Twitch, for those who don't know. So a lot of the videos are live shiny reactions, and I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, as someone who's always followed the fan game scene, especially Relic Castle, that's where you can find this game, uh, Pokemon Bird Call, as I'm sure you can see by now. Um, it was one of the 2018 entries, more details in the description, um, that got spotted. It's based around bird Pokemon and has a pretty short story as most Relic Castle entries do, but they're usually very creative. Um, so I guess without further ado, we should get into it. But So welcome to everyone who's new and um, it's my pleasure to have you. Enter a new game, let's see. Alright, sorry, get my keyboard out here. Don't be shy. I promise they don't bite. All right, I missed the first. Ooh, ooh, I'm just finishing a couple checkups now. You're the one who's here for the research position, right? What was your name again? Uh, oh, we can do the full thing. We can do the full thing. But let's just go with Jick. All uh, right. Let's just go with Jick. We'll be short. Eh. Eh. If they give us all the room, right? Let's use it. <laughs> if they give us all the room, let's use it. Uh, it says F key, but... I'm already here. Mm, S E. So, I'm wondering if there's any other shorter fan games, nothing too long or anything, at least for the time being, that you'd be interested in seeing. Um, Relic Castle submissions are a really good one. I've got a couple things in mind if this is something uh, I enjoy and you enjoy as well. Um, because I don't know how I feel about this yet. That's me. All right, excellent. It's nice to meet you, Jake Nonsense. I'm Professor Finch. <laughs> Fits the bird theme. Uh, my specialty is bird Pokemon, but they can be difficult to study. I can learn a lot by examining them here at my lab, but there's so much more to discover by researching them in their natural habitat. Before I forget, where did I put it? Ah, here it is. Let me just put your name on it. Here you are. Nah, an assistant ID. See. Giving you an identification card is mostly a formality with how small Sterling Town is. Sterling Town. Um, I'd like you to take one of the Pokemon I have here and conduct field studies for me. Pick any one you like. Pick any one. Oh, we have literally the three options right here. Okay, I was expecting a menu. Hmm. I guess ideally, I'd like some input. Maybe a... Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, I have a sweet mohawk. I just noticed. Look at our character. I almost thought we were dressed like a Scraggy or, or a Scrafty at one point. Um, hmm. So ideally, I would let everyone choose, myself included. But I think since uh, one of the first Pokemon I got as a shiny in Let's Go Pikachu, or Let's Go Eevee specifically when it came out, was Pidgey. We're going to pick Pidgey. Uh, who doesn't like a good Pidgeotto? Yes. We've obtained Pidgey. Would you like to give a nickname to Pidgey? Hmm, not for this run. No, thank you. All right. Excellent. I see you made your choice. Let's go into the lab and I can tell you more about the specifics of my research. Okay. Um, let's go. Where, where? I'm assuming there's just a back door, yeah. Let's go into the back door. He said go inside, but he didn't follow. Ah, there we go. Now that you've prepared, let me explain. We normally perform fair... Wait, was I supposed to save, maybe? I should have. Uh, we normally perform fairly casual research here in my lab. Not to say we slack. It's just, this is the first time I've needed results so urgently. There's been weird things happening that we've never seen before, and at the same time, giant birds have appeared. Ooh. <clears throat> As a local Pokemon professor and bird expert, I need to learn more about those giant birds and what exactly is going on. I would travel to the study myself, but I'm needed here. A good trainer like you can get results faster than I could anyway. Here. Ah. The, the classic five Pokeballs. I don't expect you to capture a giant bird with those Pokeballs. Just bring me a feather or two would be enough to positively identify them. Can I catch them with Ultra Balls, perhaps? Oh. We set up specialized birdhouses to attract some of the rarer birds. I'd like to focus on comparing our studies to other regions. It's interesting to see how the same species react in different conditions. Kind of like a Lola with Alolan forms. I don't know, it makes me think of that. Give me a second. Ah, uh, you're the one who's going to do the field research, right? Be sure to take a lot of Pokeballs with you. Ah, that's why you talk to everyone. Okay. 
I'll be staying here trying to find the books I need. Ah, well, I appreciate the gift. Let's go check out the region. All right. So what was the name of our professor again? Finch? Yes, Finch. Visitors, welcome. Ooh, there's a Poké Center in our hometown. Do I think, um, hmm, running shoes? One of these, perhaps? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right, hello, welcome to the Poké Center. We restore your tired Pokémon to full health. Okay, it's the same. It's the same. It does appear that there's a PC. Obviously, the Mart would be separated as an older style game. If there is a Mart in this, we'll have to see. You're going out to the volcano. Watch your step around there, dearie. Okay. It's always hot, but the ground is shaky as of late. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're just right into the wild, I guess. Should we explore? Let's go explore the town a little more. Let's go explore a little more, huh? All right, into here. We have... Oh, it's an old couple. The forest to the south. I remember when a business tycoon was building a factory there. They ran out of money very quickly. He had plans to mass-produce TMs there. Hmm. Maybe there's still some laying around there. Oh, okay, so the forest to the south. We'll have a bunch of TMs to find. I'm the official name raider. Oh, no. Good work. You do good work, but I do not need your services now. All right, let's see. Perhaps this is a waste of time, but... Uh, sorry, my Pokemon ran off without me noticing. It really likes bird seed, even though it isn't a bird. Maybe it dreams of having wings. Hmm, a Pokemon. Uh, my girlfriend's Pokemon is an escape artist. <laughs> it's not a big deal, though. It always finds a way home. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, so we can go to the volcano. Looks like we can go directly into the forest to the south as well. Um, what's out of town this way? Okay, there's the mart. Ooh, I like that design. Hmm. So they're not really limited in any direction that we can go. Welcome to my frozen quarry shop. Uh, if you think you'll appreciate my selection of TMs, if you happen to catch enough of any of the local Pokemon. Ah. Okay. Ooh, you've got hail, so you've got ice. Obviously, false swipe. Shiny hunter's best friend. Okay, okay. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, nope, I meant to just... We want to leave. We want to leave. Please come again. Alright, let's do that. Um, I guess... Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? I like the thought of going to the forest. Personally, I'm a forest person overall. And I think getting TMs in the early game would be pretty useful. We might get stopped somewhere. Let's, uh, let's fight this trainer. See if we made a terrible decision. <laughs> Let's see if we've made a terrible decision. Alright. Level 23 Woobat. And we are 25. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, oh, oh, we already have some good options. Pursuit is at least super effective. It won't do a crazy amount, but yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. Hard stamp. Alright, it's okay. We two-shot this. There we go. I'm sorry, Woobat. I really do like Wubat. I've grown to like Swubat's shiny quite a bit as well. Uh oh. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. I guess we just pursued it again, or maybe uproar was the right choice. Yeah, this is bad. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, the crit and the para. All right. Ooh. We've got citrus berry. Gave us some health. Pachirisu fo oh, found one as well. Outsped, and we die. Well, that's a great start. That's a great start. All right. I should have probably caused an uproar. Mm -mm, I would say. I would say, right? Okay. Well, I hope you excel. So electric types are going to be a huge problem. I wonder what moves the other starters had. There was no duo in Spiro. Does make me wonder. Let's see what this trainer has. Let's see what this trainer has. Get ourselves into something here. Mm, bird Keeper Bale? Bale. A hoot hoot. Okay. A hoot hoot. I mean, uproar. I guess we just cause an uproar, right? Mm. It'll keep giving us consistent damage over time. Mm. Alright, there's the hoot hoot down. Let's see what you have next. Yep, 
Yep, hoot hoot again. Okay, well, see, I was worried about another Pachirisu situation. Or a rock type. Oh, a rock type would be devastating here. Alright. A rock type would be devastating. We have nothing to hit that. 736. Alright, we're making some of our money back. It's a birdhouse. Oh, okay. Assumed. Hey, kid, are you a fan of birds? You can meet some pretty special birds by putting some bird seed in a birdhouse like this one. Okay, I was kind of... That's why I investigated it. I'm always out here repairing this birdhouse. It's hard to build a house tough enough for a bird like Skarmory. Okay, so we get some bird seed. We can access Skarmory. Um, I should probably heal. Should probably heal a little bit, but let's try to take you on. Oh, or not. Two hikers and travelers. Remember to bring plenty of water when climbing Mount Tinamau. The interior temperature makes dehydration easy. Sounds like me right now. It's very hot. As of late. Okay. Whoa. Look at that climber go. Okay. Wait, I want to try. Oh, hello there. I'm setting up a rappel for my scout group. But I need to give it a few test runs before I let them try climbing. Oh, so I imagine we have to get through the cave a bit first. Alright, let's fight this trainer. I have to imagine we get through the, the cave the first time or at some point later that's a shortcut. The we'll get access to Camper Connor would like to battle with a Riolu. Nice to see it. I'm going to hate to take it down, but here we go. Here we go. Super effective. This is what we needed. No Pachi. Magby. Um, I suppose we still just go with the wing attack. Take the stab. Alright, that'll do a decent chunk, I'm sure. Yep, yep, yep. Come. Okay. Mm mm mm. And we defeat Camper Connor. No problem. Oh, yes. Didn't even think about it. We were already well above Pidgeotto's evolution level. Uh, still a few more to go for Pidgeot, but I didn't even think about it. Ah, wonderful. Pidgeotto. I kind of regret... Well, the name raider's right there. But I do kind of regret not giving uh, it a nickname. We didn't even take a chance to uh, to check out our... Po oh, I like that little health bar at the bottom, didn't it? That was really nice. It's a shortcut. But let's check out the nature of our wonderful Pidgeotto. Oh, hoo -hoo. is that guaranteed? Maybe, they, maybe they're given good natures. I mean, Mega Pidgeotto wants special, but Jolly or Adamant is pretty good, right? Okay. Mm, that's pretty nice, having a little bar on the bottom there. All right, anyway, make our way back to town. I think this trainer will, will take the risk. Okay, they didn't see us. They didn't see us. Let's go heal. Let's go heal. Uh, we do have Pokeballs, actually. Let's try, to, let's try to catch a wild Pokemon before we go heal. You know, why not? Why not? Bonsly. Okay. Bonsly. Do we want to catch it? Do we want to catch it? How much does a wing attack do? Let's see if this survives. I'm sure it does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it does. That missed. I would hate to be KO'd by this, by this random Bonsly. So let's just run for now. See if there's something else in the wild, perhaps. One less attempt. One less attempt. What? What's the what's the shiny rate in this game? Okay. What's the shiny rate in this game? It's obviously boosted. It's obviously boosted. Um, but I don't know what it is. I will get back to you on that. Uh, looks like we're using a ponyta on our team. How do I how do I not knock this out? I think just spamming a Pokeball? <laughs> I wish I bought that false swipe TM, though I don't believe Pidgeotto can learn it anyway. Um, hello? <laughs> I do wonder what the odds are. I did not know they were boosted. That's very interesting. Yeah, we're going to have to damage it a little bit. Um, do I, do I not have any potions? Mm -mm, do I not have any potions? Oh, yeah, I have nothing else. Okay. So we're going to have to throw another Pokeball. That's so interesting. When I saw the blue, I thought, wait, does this have alternate forms or something? Mm, yeah, we're going to lose it now, though. Okay. That's so interesting. <laughs> well, shiny fail. Mm -mm. <laughs> shiny fail. What are the odds in this? Boy, we're going to have to do some research. Okay. 
We're going to have to do some research. 50. All right. My goodness. Let's see if we can get another one really quick, right? Oh, okay. Crazy boosted. <laughs> Crazy boosted. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, we know we can not feel too bad about that. <laughs> and we'll just... Ooh, this is too much damage. It's too much damage. All right. Um, there's nothing we really do. We go down to the second one. I just wanted to get... Oh, okay. I'll throw a Pokeball on this turn. It's not likely to catch it, but we kind of don't have many options. We're going to get knocked out and drop some more money. Ah, but the Bonsley is caught. It wasn't meant to be with the Ponyta, but the Bonsley is caught. We like to give a nickname. I mean, I traditionally give nicknames to Shinies. Um, so in this case, yes. Let's think of, um... Let's think of a good Bonsley nickname. It's the second time, you'd think, right? Second, second time's the charm? Mm -hmm. Let's go with, uh, let's go with second... Or take two. Take two, how about that? It may not be the best of names, but... Take two. Retry, reset, and here we go. Oops, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh... Now we have a Bonsley. That's very useful. That's very useful. Ooh, we could have gotten Drillber. I mean, we still could. Um, there's no real reason to limit ourselves to certain Pokemon. Let's run, though. Let's run. I mean, we can get ice types over... So I imagine we get more rock and fire types in the cave up there. We get ice types in the corner over there. We get... Um, well, grass is, is a forest to the south. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, with all of that, I don't even know what to make of it. <laughs> we added Bonsley to our team. We got a Pidgeotto. Um, it's been a short one, but I guess let's uh, take, a, take a quick break here. We'll save our game. Jick no save. And I will see everyone in the next one, I think. I mean, I'm going to do some research on the shiny odds. I'm very interested in continuing this. Uh, and in general, continuing a ROM hack or a fan game type series, um, if you will. For now, starting with these Relic Castle ones, they're simple. This, sh I believe, has about a four-hour storyline. So um, the episodes, you know, we'll, we'll break it down to be a little bit longer than this each other time. But for now... I'm going to leave you on that note. I hope you enjoyed Bird Call. If you would like to see more, let me know in some way. Uh, otherwise, I will see you next time for the next video or the next stream. Take care. All right. <laughs>